Greg and Jumi Cribs, <laughs> overnight train Thailand edition. <laughs> First thing we always do is spray the places. This is a really cool overnight train. It's supposed to take 15, 16 hours. So it's 2.30, the train is right now. Bangkok is supposed to arrive at Kai at around 7 a.m. Well, I've always wanted to do something like this. We're so excited. Yeah. We've always wanted to train travel and land travel wherever we are in the country. This is what we're going to do. We are going to travel on land. Slow. Slow and yeah, so we're here at our train station. No, our train is moving. Rice paddies everywhere, palm trees and mountains. Greek food in Thailand. The ziki. Tiro kateri, the feta dip. Alu dip. Souvlaki. Chicken souvlaki. And pork souvlaki. The bread. And in here? Yeah, we Lamb chops, baby. Lamb chops. Long time overnight. Woke up just before we had to get off. Did you sleep well? Decently well. I woke up a couple times, but it was a pleasant journey. I would definitely do it again. Uh, yeah. Definitely, it's way better than but better than being on a plane or an overnight bus. That yeah. is for sure. So, so many so. benefits to it. It's a hotel and transportation all the way. And very pleasant, like. National Park is the entry fee, 200 baht per person. Waiting to board our ferry and um, get out of here and move island. to the island Island life. <laughs> travel. We started yesterday at 2.30 p.m. and now it's 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon. 24 hours of travel to get to this beautiful island that we can't wait to show you. And since that 
Oh, a long travel day. Now it's time for food. How's time to eat? We are starving. Like the last time we ate was last night. And here's the first batch. This is bamboo shoot, morning glory, fried eggs, my like rice. A bamboo lap. It smells really good. Yeah, like a vegetarian lap. Fried fish, panang curry, and sticker rice. rice with mm, fried shallots. Oh my gosh. And we have Wow. We sure love our fish. That's right. <laughs> Especially with this Thai flavor with the banana curry. We were starving, obviously. Wow. We did good. We did. Tore it up. <laughs> it's officially your birthday. It is. <laughs> The funny thing has been my birthday most of the day. I mean, US time just a few hours ago. This time last year, my birthday, we were in lockdown, stuck in an apartment room, a small apartment in KL. 365 days later, yep. who would have thought we would be here walking on the streets of Colipe? Street food walking tour that's in Colipe. That's, so. that's a good way to celebrate your birthday, that's for sure. So Since this is your birthday, and we'll do what's you love to do best. Oh, those smell good. There goes Greg getting satay. Chicken skewer looks so good, nice and yellow. It smelled incredible. Like we had to buy it. Mm. How's that? It's good, it's juicy. I just got a little bit of the chicken skin too. Nice. Nice char, but not too much. It's like a little sweet. Delicious. Definitely gonna eat like 10 pieces. No problem. <laughs> 20 by each. Can't go wrong. <laughs> Stumbled upon this stall selling grilled pork. It looks amazing. It looks like it's covering like a lob seasoning. We would have figured that out, but it looks great. Of course, you'd order it. So juicy. Mm. It's kind of like a little, like kind of sour and spicy. Real <laughs> juicy. The last two places we were, home, second home. <laughs> <laughs> or third or fourth or, or fifth. Third or fourth yeah. There's just too many long tail boats. I think I've ever seen so many long tail boats in my life. We've been to Thailand before. Like, this is crazy. It's <laughs> probably a few hundred. This well, is like maybe a hundred here at least. How's your birthday so far? It's good. It's relaxing. Just chilling here on the beach. Got a beer. Got some food all day, all day long. Eating food on the street. This is good. Definitely beats last year being locked down in a room for weeks. Coolest treehouse ever on the beach. Wake up with this view. Amazing. So we're done at the beach. Let's see what we have here. So what is this? Hey, it's for me to taste. Fish cake. Yeah. Oh, fish cake. That was good. Fish cake. It's got a great aroma. Great aroma. It's this orange color. I saw it yesterday. I in it. Really want to try it. Got it today. Ooh. That lime leaf flavor is so good. It's so hot and fresh. I love it. I love spots like this that are making everything fresh. I love some fried beans here. It looks like basil. Mm. Yeah. Fried basil, cucumber, a little sauce she added in here. A lot of flavor in here. I'm about to finish it off. She puts them into a bowl. Chinese radish with peanut. It's really like interesting, sticky outside, chewy outside. Wow, 
it is a different, totally different scene when it's nighttime. It's like almost impossible to walk or to cross the road. And about to get our dinner. Now it's dinner time. I am the spot since yesterday. Walking by, I can smell the aroma from the broth down the street. It's, uh, they're cooking it right in front of the shop. So it's got this nice yellow noodle. It almost looks kind of like a wonton in a way. You have meatballs, beef tendon, chunks of beef. It's like morning glory. This broth is nice and beefy. Oh man, I'm gonna try the broth. Mm. And that like, five spice taste, very beefy. Oh. Yeah, it's got that five spice flavor. Very beefy, I love it. But I think I'll add the condiments to it to really kick it up to the spice level. Adding the chilies really kicks it up to the next level. I love it. I'm already been sweating because it's really hot and humid here. <laughs> I think after being in quarantine for a few weeks and not being out so much, it's got me. But this beef soup now with the chili is definitely gonna make me sweat more and the spice. I love the crunchy element of the morning glory in here too. And add the veggies. You know, we also add our veggies when we can. Ooh, that beef's so nice and tender and those chewy tendons with it too. And <laughs> I'm really digging the broth, the sweet, savory, beefy, anisey. <laughs> anisey. Is that even a word, anisey? I don't know. I'm making it up. Anisey. <laughs> nah, that spot is good. Sometimes you gotta trust your nose, and nose did not fail me when walking by this place. Good stuff. And it's halal, so. Gotta eat halal, you come here too. Dessert. Dessert time. Jackfruit, one mango, please. It's yogurt at the bottom. Freshly made. Fresh, fresh made. Freshly made yogurt. How's your jackfruit? Mm, it's good. good. Jackfruit goes well in this movie. All right, so we're back in our hotel now, and I know it's a different vlog style that we do, but we're in an island. Today has been very spontaneous, actually. Like, we didn't plan to do anything. This is our first day out, and it's Greg's birthday, so let me ask the birthday boy. Let me give you the floor, birthday boy. <laughs> what? Well, funny, usually I do research for this, but we just kind of strolled around and saw what looked good. Uh, everything was good in its own way. I think I'm gonna go with the fish cake because that was something I'd never had it like that before. Beef noodle close second, but the fish cake because it's fried fresh in front of you and that lime leaf flavor. I'm a huge fan of lime leaves. That thing wanted for me. I think we'll go back at least two more times before we leave because that's how good it was. We are gonna end the vlog here. Hope you enjoyed watching our day. <laughs> <laughs> There's our impromptu little street food crawl here in Colipe. It's not known as a food destination because it's a pretty island, but you know what? There's some pretty good food to be found around here. Yeah, and also, wow. Well